Reason number 117 why being an infectious disease epidemiologist makes you a Debbie Downer. If you're the parent of young kids, you know the value of going to a new park brings to your kids. They get so excited about it. And this weekend, my wife and I were going through a neighborhood and there was a park nearby that we haven't been to. So we said, sure, let's go check it out. We pull up and lo and behold, there is a giant splash pad park at this park. And if you don't know what a splash pad is, think large water fixtures that essentially spray water out in all different shapes and different sizes that your kids can run through and it's a lot of fun. We go in, luckily we have their bathing suits, so we put them on, let them run around like crazy. They're having a blast, they're loving it, they're getting cold, wet, throwing the water everywhere. My wife and I sit down and we're sitting together and I say, hey, you, you know what's a fun fact? Last year the CDC published a report on the incidence of splash pad outbreaks in the United States. And in the past few years, there have been dozens of outbreaks with you know over 10, 10,000 cases and a lot of them being hospitalizations. She turns to me and says, why are you the way you are? And of course, I have to go into some more of the details, which, you know, no one actually wants to hear as your kids are playing in this thing that they absolutely love. If you actually read this report, they get really detailed. They go into talking about how community and municipal parks are actually at the highest rates of these waterborne outbreaks. What's even worse, too, is that the incidence of reporting these outbreaks is actually underreported because if you think about it, you need a lot of kids to get sick to actually report it for your public health department to then go investigate it and be able to pinpoint it back to a splash pad. There's probably actually a lot of these outbreaks going on. And even worse than that, if you read the discussion, they get into the details about why these outbreaks probably happen. And if you know kids, you know that they aren't the cleanest things in the world. Talk about the number, the, the amount of feces in a toddler's diaper that can stay there, and then by sitting on these splash pad fixtures, can spray the splash pad, and then, because kids keep their mouth open, are probably ingesting more of these pathogens. So it's a wonderful paper to read if you're an infectious disease epidemiologist. If you're a parent, probably not so much. So in the future, I apologize for being the Debbie Downer whenever we go to do fun things.